Hello everybody, welcome to the second event for the one year anniversary of the housing edition for Clone Wars Adventures Emulator. Not too sure how many people will be on today, but who we have so far is Rune Bladestorm. We have Eolin, we have Emil Celerum again, Mr. Hutt of course, and Malik, and we have Ralph Gravity Razor. And is that really a stopped over there? Yes it is, okay. So, once again, another small gathering, but uh, we might have a few more people join. So in the meantime, we'll just wait around until this event has completely started, or until more people come. Okay, so a few more people joined in. We have Jurir Vizsla, he was here last week. Taylor Thawne is a new addition to this week, and Snowman I think is a new addition to this week, which is always good. And I think I saw somebody else log in. Let me just take a look real quick. Okay, no I didn't. Okay, thought I did. Well, so we have a couple of new people who joined in this week. Not too many again, but it's never bad to have a few new uh, people join us. I'd rather have a bigger group, but you know, people rather do other things on a Sunday, and I don't blame them. But in the meantime, we shall just wait until this event starts, and I will be sure to tell you if anybody else joins in. Alright, looks like we're about to start the event right now, because Hut is going to the house. I'm pretty sure it's Eowyn's place. If it's not Eowyn's place, then her place is definitely next- or his or her place or is definitely next week. Now, let's take a look and see if I'm right or not. You know, I gotta give them a little bit of time to get to the actual place. Uh, let's- let's see. Let's just make sure that we're not missing anything. Okay, just wanted to make sure that everybody was there. Because sometimes when I teleport too early, I get a weird bug. But not always. It only happens every here and there. And whose lot is this? Oh yes, is it Taylor? Is this Taylor's lot? Because I know she, she had a very interesting house too. Oh yep, I was correct. Hey, I, I was here a few times. The outside is very very cool. I, I personally like it. I do like it. It's almost like an office in a way. Have your little sitting area to be called in almost. Uh, it looks like the outside here is a bit empty, but it's the actual outside of this Jedi Living Quarters where everything looks very cool. Oh, Rip Malik. Sorry that you got disconnected there, but not much we can do. Ah, yes, good, the good old mace win windows. We all love them. And then Taylor Thorne wrote her name up here with those lights, th those Corazon lights, I believe they are. And now up here, it looks like it's just kind of a little loft area where you can hang out. It's, as I said, the outside. That's very impressive. It's a very long process to build out here. And I do like the fluorescent lighting here. Very uh, interesting design. And I'm guessing everybody's gonna be going outside by running into this until she knocks us all out. So I will pause until that is done. Oh, took a shorter time than I thought it would. Okay, that was nice and easy. So let's take a look at the entire lot because I've only seen this part here. I didn't really go all the way up there, nor did I go below and see the levels. Very nice view out here, I gotta say. It's a very interesting design, and it looks like a good place for a barbecue outside here. And now when we go down here, I'm guessing that that's where all the uh, cool design stuff is. But before we do that, let's climb to the top of the world over here. I'm sure it's possible. And you just have to run straight up. You don't even need a spear or anything, but you could use one if you so pleased. And I'm also reading the chat a little bit to the bottom left of the screen here. So I'm guessing it just takes us all the way up to the, to the dome. So I'll pause and show you what it looks like when we get there. Alright, so I made it to the very top of the dome for, for the Jedi Living Quarters. 
And it's uh, not much to see here besides the blank sky, of course. And I just ran up here normally. Hello there, snowman. How are ya? Yeah, beautiful view. A whole, whole bunch of nothing. But then when you fall back down... Oop! There goes Malik. <laughs> Poor Malik. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else of interest around here? Mm, no, it doesn't look like it. But it looks like everybody had the same idea of going up here. Even though I somehow got up here first. If you fall to the bottom, there is a left. Okay, that's good to know. Alright, so I've been up here for a couple minutes. I'm just gonna jump down now. And let's take a look to see... How ridiculous this is. Holy moly! That is a lot. Boom. Okay, good. I landed on here. Good, 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 good. Okay, now which way should I go? You know what? Let's go down this way. Now, is this just the, the way back up? If so, then that's actually a good thing. Ooh! This looks nice. But I have not seen this, but I think I might have seen the preview of this with somebody else's video. Was that Ryan Firefiend's video? I think it was. Very good, though. It, it works very well. Now, can I cl Yes, I can climb down here. Nice. And now there's this area, which is also very creative. I like how they managed to make the exact shape to go down these areas. Can't really say that I, I'm going to be able to explore the entire area because my exploration is kind of all over the place, but... Besides the point. It is uh, very creative to see, though. Good to see everybody is actually going around looking at it. Not too much to see around here. But, you know, let's take a look, go back down, and shall we go to the next level down? I'm gonna go to the next level down. Okay, so there's nothing here, but... But if we fall down, all the way down here, are we just in Glitch City? Yes, we are. Okay. So that's how that works. Very creative idea. I like that. And now, if I have to get back up here... It looks like I have to jump my way up. Interesting. Okay, so this will take some time. Alright, I jumped my way back up to here. So, which of these three holes shall we go through first? Let's go to the right one. Or does it really not matter? Oh no, it does. So, this one just takes you down to Glitch City proper. Interesting. Maybe they're all just different exits to get onto the roofs. That's an idea. Okay. Are they all just like that? Okay, this one drops you down over here. That's cool. Okay. Now, what, where does the third one take you? That's my question. So, these two take you there. Guess I have to jump up to find out. Or maybe I can't. But you know what? We'll make our way back up like we did before, and we will see where it takes us. Alright, I think I found where the third one took me. It looks to be right over here. Okay, looks like everybody's here at the Jolly Living Quarters. Good, good, good. But now I have to find that way back up again. That kind of sucks, but what can you do, right? Can't please everybody. Can I jump up here? Yes, I can. Good, good, good. But is there a way for me to jump all the way back up? Probably not. Alright, found my way back up. I'm just going to see if there's anything else I missed. I'm sure I missed some stuff. But I'm not entirely sure I did. Oop. Damn. I think I'm stuck. Oh. Well. <laughs> Oh well. Can't do anything about that. Yep, yeah, looks like everybody else had the same idea as me. They all got stuck back in the window. Hm. Oh well. Looks like we're just gonna have to wait. Alright, so now we are back out. I just wanna make sure that I didn't miss anything. I don't think I missed anything, but I'll take a look real quick to be sure. Uh, let's go to the top of that platform real quick. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything when I passed it. 
think I might have missed something when I passed the platform from before, but I don't think I did. Okay, let's go around a little bit. There we go. Okay, so nothing much here yet, okay. But I'm sure at a point there will be additions of some sort. So, I'm gonna fall back down. Oh crap, I fell back in. Oh well, I think that would that will conclude this video, but I'll see if there's anything else interesting going on here. Alright, so I decided to show off this from a bird's eye view, just when you back up and you see everything. Actually, it looks pretty cool so far. I wonder if there's anything else, I, like I said, I missed. A lot of interesting stuff going on here. Now you just go in and then you see all this. This is very interesting. Wonder if there's a way inside this area. Uh, I think I was probably already in it, wasn't I? Yeah, I was. Yeah, okay. I, I thought I wasn't. Did I miss an area over here? No, I didn't. But you get a very interesting view going through everything here. I wonder, should I see if there is anything else in, in the Glitch City area that's of interest, maybe? Oh, hello there, Malik. Don't mind me just going down with the free camera. Okay, doesn't look like there's much going on here, but it would be pretty cool if there was. I'm just going to take a look real quick to see. Okay, and then you can move all the way up there. Alright, hold on a second. Alright, so I'm back out here now. Oh, Garrett just logged on. Interesting. After I, I unpaused, all of a sudden, that happens. So, a little note to myself. Do not jump on top of this, because you get teleported right back in, even though the old one didn't do that. But, you know, what can one do, right? Uh, you know what? I'm going to see that area where she had all the hollow projector tables. Probably my favorite part of the lot so far. I don't know, maybe it's just the color of it for me. I don't know. Let's go back downstairs, I, I suppose. But I'll do that right before I go over here. And just take a look at the top real quick, because I didn't really look down to see what it looks like. It looks pretty good, though. Yep, still love this hexagon type hollow projector ground thing. It's very creative. I don't know how Taylor managed to get it to work, but it must have taken days, hours, weeks, or months of preparation to get this perfect the way it is. Now, I kind of wonder though, since she says she's adding a maze, I wonder how big this maze is going to be. Is it going to be the entire Jedi Temple lot? Oh, look, two more people logged in. Huh? Annie Unknown just logged in. But let's see if they're going to the actual lot itself. I'm not entirely sure if these people are going to teleport to the lot or not. Let's take a look. Uh, main hall and main hall. Okay, so they did not. Makes no difference to me, Annie. Or it does not make any difference to me, but... Oh yeah, and is this a traffic light? I'm just noticing it. Pretty much looks like a traffic light. Alright, so it looks like we got two T-posers here. We got Mr. Hut and Malik just being T-posers with the Gungan Jedi lightsaber. Probably one of my favorite lightsabers, mainly just because it's, a, it's very bubbly. And I like the noob hat that Malik wears from time to time. Always looks pretty cool. Now let's take a look at... Are there any other people that are screwing around? Probably so, but... Uh, let's see. I, shall I end the video here? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. You know what, I'll probably wait just to see if anybody says anything of substance that is important. Alright, so Annie Unknown has joined us at the exploration of Taylor Th Thawne's lot. Or, why do I call it lot? Jedi Living Quarters. Even though it is pretty much a lot. Now I wonder if Taylor Thawne will build a way to get to the top of this needle-like uh, tower, like the one in Seattle, Washington. That would be very interesting to see, actually. Oh, and uh, Annie Unknown is just saying, 
Hi to everybody who's watching this video. Maybe a select few of you, but I appreciate you watching the videos. I only do these really for the fun of it. I don't do it to make money, even though I probably could if I started really trying to invest in my gaming computer more. But this is just a hobby, as I call it. Oh, okay. Email looks like he just went with the red, white, and blue Am American flag type deal, th almost. Oh, made it red, white, and blue for the summer. See? That's your explanation. Oh, yes, and I did not mention that this is the only lot that we will be seeing. So this video is just kind of repetitive. It's only because we're at the one lot. I think it's one lot again next week, and then at the end of the month, I think it might be possibly two. I cannot confirm that, but I think it might be that case. Alright, so right now we're just all just hanging out, just dancing it out, as people would say. And, you know, talking about a few things. I was just talking about the credit wipe, as you see, because as you see in the top left corner of my screen, 17.75 million credits over here. That's all going to be clear once Open Beta comes, because it will not be transferred, so I have to spend it somehow. Now, let's see what I can spend it on. It's it's always going to be some type of furniture. I don't know which furniture exactly, as there is a lot of different furniture that we can get. Alright, so I think I'm going to end the video here, so thank you all for watching, and I hope you watch the third week and fourth week, because I plan to attend those and record those videos too. Goodbye, everybody.